je doet de mensen. Dit kan pas oor en die vliegt er in. Wat een schip! Wat is het niet pas oor? Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. What do you think I got octopus arms? What do you think I got octopus arms? What's happening boys and welcome to the 84 Richley Basler. I think I'm saying that correctly. Richley Basler Vitesse Air DVZ League SPC card, which sees us get ourselves a very, very interesting looking card. We had a choice between Hin and this guy named Bahebek who plays, I don't even know what club he plays for, he's a striker. We've looked at a lot of strikers and I kind of want to look at some other positions and uh, today, given that Bazor was giving himself a midfield card, I thought it would be a good chance to look at it. So, uh, 328 total in-game stat upgrade over his, I believe, 73 rated silver card. Four star weak foot, three star skill moves as you guys can see here, but there's one thing about this card that looks a little bit glitched. You'll notice that all the other face stats get jacked off like plus seven plus eight some of them i think even get a plus nine but then his defending he has 63 defending on his base 73 card and lo and behold he only gets a plus one total in game stat upgrade on this one so everything else gets jacked off massively Dude, some are even plus 10. Passing goes from 72 to 85. Uh, shooting goes from 64 to 81. Pace goes from 74 to 87. Dribbling goes from 75 to 90. Physical goes from 73 to uh, 84. And then and defending, which is strange because he's known as a defensive midfielder. If you go on his Wikipedia page, it says uh, Richley Bazor, um, a player uh, that plays for Vitesse, uh, is known as a defensive midfielder. And obviously that's his, uh, that's his role. So I wonder if that's glitched. I wonder if we're going to get that fixed. Um, but I really do think that's probably a glitched thing right there. 60 three defending to 64 when the rest of its stats are getting like plus nine even more than plus 10 upgrades so got to keep that in mind when you do this card and, and it's kind of unfortunate because i feel like he could possibly be in club 80 if we're talking about total in-game stats among all dutch midfielders he is already the seventh highest behind 90 frank rijkaard apparently a guy that he's uh, uh likened to clarence sadorf rude hole at clarence uh both all of Claire and Sadorf's cards, who we're going to be using in the squad as well, and then only trails behind Rude Hullet's uh, 86 and 90 rated cards in terms of total in-game stats. So, could only imagine what would uh, could only imagine where this card would rank if he did have himself the proper upgrade. But again, I don't know. You guys think that's a glitch? Feels like it might be. But we are here, to, boys. To, but we are here, boys, to look at this card. And once we delve into his stats, you guys will know why we're looking at his card. If you guys are excited for this epi, if this helps you again, if you guys are Air Divisie supporters or Dutch national team supporters, a very linkable card. If you have maybe a Dutch icon or a couple dutchies in your squad if you guys do enjoy these epis if they help you in some way shape or form drop a like on the video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below now the stats for a mid 87 acceleration 87 sprint speed we're not going to touch those 83 attacking positioning he's got 73 finishing which is one of his lowest rated stats if we're not counting the defensive ones but outside of that just absolute scenes 91 shot power 88 long shots he's got the four star weak foot 92 short passing 87 long passing decent vision decent crossing the dribbling stats for a midfielder, these are some of the most elite dribbling stats that I've seen. He's six foot. Given that he's six foot as well, those are some pretty nuts uh, dribbling stats. The defensive stats, I'm just looking over at those yellows. They would pretty much all be green if this card got upgraded the way it should have. And then if we go over to the physical, physical stats are pretty nuts as well. 82 stamina, 84 strength, 82 aggression, and 93 jumping. We've got Clarence Seedorf. We're going to switch to the 4-3-3-4. Seedorf is going to go over to our RCM. Blanc is going to stay as our... Um, uh, sorry, we're going to have uh, Blanc as our LCM. And then maybe keep Alan on, but we're going to bring someone on at striker. Richley Bazoir is going to go over as our cam. We're going to switch to the 4-3-3-4, which elevates him a little further up. And then, of course, have the Mad Lads, Quincy Promise, and Tahi Chong in game. Let's get into match number one. Let's see if this absolute, seemingly looking Mad Lad can live up to his stats and see if maybe... I don't know. I'm hoping while I'm recording this episode, EA comes out and say, um, Richley Buzzwer's, uh, Richley Buzzwer's, uh, defensive stats have actually been upgraded to what they should be. But, uh, for all intents and purposes, I, purposes, I think those stats are glitched. We'll start up with Shawnee Maguire. Come on, boys. Richley Buzzwer. Dude, I can't wait to see this card on the pitch. Maybe Manchester United uh, Twitter account can uh, pay attention to it. <laughs> pay attention to the manager. The best in the world! He's the best! Oh my god! He's the best! 
you think EA didn't upgrade his defensive stats because he would have been too powerful of a card? But then Calvin Phillips is a nuts card. He's got the he's got the identical stats to the highest rated version of Patrick Vieira. They both have 2139 5, 2139 D5 total in game stats. So that that theory doesn't hold up because they've just already done it. That's offsides. Come on! Along with re-releasing the uh, the RDVZ League SBC, I think they've um, I think they overpowered Allison, dude. He's come up with some pretty nasty saves. This mad lad, dude. Bro, he's a tank. Hey. Come on. It was a sloppy bowl. It was a sloppy goal, but we'll take it. Richly Bazor puts himself in the uh, puts himself in the right position and showcases a little bit of that finishing. Again, went off the post. I feel like that could that could have pro uh, probably gone easily wide. But Laurent Blanc. For those of you guys considering getting the 85 baby Laurent Blanc, you guys would have seen him featured in the uh, in Epis over the over the course of the past week, um, and he's been very very good for us. He's been a very very solid contributor to our uh, to a lot of our wins. Woo! Come on, boys! Finishing doesn't say that 73 finishing does not seem to be an issue. And Richly Bowser, he's got really really nice really really nice feel on the ball. And he kind of powers through. Let me see if I can try and show you guys. Uh, let me see if, see if I can show you guys what I mean. So there he is. Doesn't have the four-star skill moves, obviously. But we've got our body faint. And look how quickly he moves in and out of that body faint, man. Referee, thank you. There's the Shawnee McGuire we know and love. Let's go, boys. 3-0. I don't know if that was Richly Bazawar, but McGuire showcasing that 98 pace. Show showcasing that absolute rapidity on his card. <laughs> Yo, Allison might be a new card. Oh, my son. He's the best. You thought I was kidding about skilling, huh? The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes of added time. Richly Buzzware does a really good job holding onto it or positioning himself in a uh, positioning himself in a way to get the ball back. I think it's a combination of his height, his dribbling, and then also his physical stats. It's very difficult to get the ball off of him. It almost looks glitchy, and it just brings me back to this point that um, what this card could be with the actual proper defensive stats upgrade, because I don't think he's been properly upgraded. <laughs> Dude, bro, do you see what I mean? And he gets the pass off too. Wait a second. Dude, we gotta convert, we got, gotta convert that into a goal. Bruh. Scored on his debut, Michael Owen, and he's only 17. <laughs> Michael Owen scores an El Clasico. <laughs> On. Penal! Pinche <laughs> FIFA! Not a penal! Richley's got 73 pens. Yikes. Uh, let's give it to Shawnee Maguire. Stickles Bazoor! And he flicks it in! 
Come on, Rish. Come on, Rishley. Can we do the big man? Nope, you can't. He almost gets his... He almost gets an enema jumping over the flag. Come on, boys. Rishley Bazawar. He's got that Dutch. He's got that Dutch determination. Oh, come on, Quincy! Was he gonna rage quit? No, he wasn't gonna rage quit anyway. It was 1 1. There's no way he just can see. <laughs> Do I even need to say anything? His dribbling stats for a midfielder, for what he is. He's absolutely incredible. Look at his dribbling. Look at Rishli, Rashidli Bazawar's dribbling, man. No, dude. Yeah, I moved the keeper out of the way. We're going to give him the win. Because I think he's doing the first owner uh, Bundesliga objective. We'll move the keeper out of the way. There you go, bro. Offside trap. For those of you guys that want to make it easier on your opponents to score, down on the left D-pad... Uh, offside trap brings your def brings your defensive line up, and then obviously you can uh, manually move your keeper. So, see what I mean? <laughs> if we wanted to, we probably could have scored there, but that that is peak Rishli Bazor. Eight point seven gets a goal and gets an assist. So that is, I believe, three goals and two assists in uh, in two matches played. See? There we go. Thanks, bro. Yo. That's that Thursday positivity right there. We gave him the win. He, we knew that he needed that objective, so we go. We went ahead and he gave it to him, and then he took the time out of his day to say thanks, bro. Hey, you got it, dude. No problem. Then not a tia. So there you have it, boys. The Richley Bazawar Players Wave U. Three goals, two assists, and two matches played, uh, and showcased why he is one of the more unique cards in the game. Footbin says 80k on the PS4 and 152k on the PS uh, on the Xbox. So let's just use the let's just use the middle ground and say it costs about 125. Let's say it's upwards of 100k. 125, 130,000 coins to do this SBC. The card that you get from it, Dutch, so incredible link. The other option is Bahebek, which is obviously uh, French, so he gets some nice links as well. We're at that stage in the game where you, you know, it's not outside the realm of pos the possibilities that you have yourself an icon that can make this card a little bit more easily linkable and really does have some next level stats uh, in terms of the player rating. So again, I don't know. I'm loving these league SBCs, loving these uh, lower rated cards that are getting massively, massively jacked off stats. Uh, in this instance, 328 total in-game stats. So for the value, I'm going to give it a four out of five. And then for the performance on the pitch, I'm also going to give it out of four out of five. He's got a unique ability to keep hold of the ball. It doesn't look pretty, but he holds on to it. His ability to hold possession, his ability to dribble, uh, period, is very, very impressive for his card type. And uh, again, the only thing missing from this card, and I'm wondering if EA did it because he would have been too powerful. He would have been too much of a Thanos player uh, uh, if they uh, jacked off his defensive stats to like, what, I don't know, 75, 78 plus, maybe even Club 80. But uh, like I say, boys, if this epi has helped you in some way, shape, or form, uh, give you an idea of what you might expect to have with this Richelieu Bazaar card, drop a mad lad like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will catch you for a stream tonight, another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. What do you think? I got octopus arms?